Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we have one hell of an update. There is a lot going on in this damn update. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this new exchange that we have in the shop here. And if you go to exchange right here, look what we have. Now you can actually exchange set cards. Check this out and look at what cards are in here. You have the Noah set, you got the Kaya set, and looky, 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 another new set that we can also summon for. Now, this is a pretty interesting set here, the Truth Between. And this thing offers increased penetration by 815% chance to gain super armor for one second and decreased damage received by 20%, making your character a little bit tankier for three seconds upon using an active skill. Using your skill! So you don't even have to land the attack. If you use the skill, you'll get the super armor for one second. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but the fact that it's got extra penetration is pretty nice. But it's a 15% chance, so a decent card set, but it's got increased attack, defense, and then HP. Okay, shame that isn't all attack. And then we have this set that everybody's talked about forever, including myself, which is the Ryugo set, uh, Checkmate set. And this increases HP by 20%, 10% chance to ignore target's guard upon laying an active skill. Decreases target's attack by 20%, weakening your character for 10 seconds when attacked. This is an excellent set for characters that don't have ignore guard. Yes, it's only a 10% chance. But if you're doing your basic attacks or your active skills, whatever, you're, you have a chance of ignoring their guard. And if you do, guess what? If your active skills are off cooldown, you'll be able to chain in, do some combos, maybe do your basics with it, and start doing a lot of damage because a lot of tactics that people use against you, especially in championship PvP, is they just guard against characters because they know they can't break guard. This set will allow your character to be able to do that, at least at a 10% chance. And all of the all the cards got 7% uh, attack. So this is going to give you an extra 21% attack on top of that, which is, that's amazing, man. What a wonderful set. I will definitely be going for that. Uh, then we have this new Ash set. This is pretty cool, too. Uh, this here set is the Formidable Foe set. and increases attack by 25% of defenses and gives you a power charge rate by 5%. So you're going to be able to gain, get more power gain by just slapping the set on them and increases it attack by 25% defensive character so characters that have defense that are defensive characters characters that have uh, active skills that build up their defenses this is going to be a great set for them uh, increases damage dealt to balance types defensive and balance types so it gets a good increase to balance types a little increase to attack not a great set but a, a good set for sure then we have the Elizabeth set check this thing out you know winter holiday gift set whatever you want to call it but this increases attack by 13%, deals additional damage equal to 200% of attack to the target upon landing a grab skill. So for grab characters, this set's freaking awesome. Obtains power, gain, oh, that's awesome. Increases critical rate by 8 seconds. Man, this would be a really good set for Yashiro. Wow. False Yashiro especially. He's even got a 3BG card. Man, this is this would be a great set for grab skill characters. However, characters with grab skills just aren't that relevant in championship pvp but in pve in the game it's absolutely amazing so we'll see and then we have this set here man they never were just throwing all kinds of stuff at us now we have the the girl who sings love set and this increases strike skill damage by 30 percent so characters that have strike skills are going to get a 30 percent strike skill damage increase they're going to have a 50 percent chance to increase attack by 20 percent for five seconds upon landing a strike skill. So if you hit your target, you land your strike skill, and they got strike skills on their active skills, you're gonna get a pretty damn good bump. A total of 50% if this 50% chance engages. That's pretty insane. You got increased penetration on the first card, HP on the second card, and more penetration on the third card. Great card set for characters with strike skills. But the thing that's interesting about all this, we scroll back up here. Whoops, there we go. Uh, oh, if you click on it, my bad. If you click on it, you can actually make yourself another card. You can craft yourself another card. The, the caveat to it is you have to use the same kind of card, not the same type, you know, 
this is a different type card, but you can use different uh, type cards, but they have to be the same kind. So they have to be. So if you're going to build a Noah card, you have to have Noah cards. If you're going to build the uh, Halloween set, you got to have Halloween cards. And same and same. You know, uh, glad I got it here. Let's see. Let's go with. Uh, so we'll put the Kula card in here. There we go. You know, whatever card you click on, we got this one right here. That's the card you're trying to make. And if you have extra ones. They won't let you, you know, it has to be a card that you don't have, but they'll let you use extra ones to build to make another card. This is actually really good because maybe you just only want one set and you have extra cards lying around. This is really good. It gives you another option to get rid of cards that maybe you're just not using, although it does kind of suck if it's best cards. But, I mean, if you need the card and you want to do this, you can. The option is there, and it's nice to have options. This is really freaking great stuff. Uh, something else that happened is the, let me see if I can find it, the Tower of Trials now has has unlocked all the way up to 60. So now we can go all the way up to 60 with this. I'll be doing that later, but that's pretty freaking cool. Um, the Mecha Genets Time Attack Challenge is in effect, but uh, today it's not going on at all, so we're not even going to look at that. Um... And then we have tons and tons of new fighters. So you go into the summons here, and you click on view rate. We're just going to skip all the fest for now. Let's just scroll down here a little bit. Now check this out. Check this out. Look at all these new cards. You got Silent Knight, Shin not new cards, but new fighters. Silent Knight Shingo, right? You have all these characters now in here. Silent Knight Sylvie, look at that. Oh, she's cute as a button now, isn't she? They have all these new characters, whole crap ton of new all-star characters, which is freaking amazing. I'm not going to go through all of them. We'd be here all day if I did. But we're, what we're going to focus on is the fest, the new fest characters that are in here. Check this out. And we have all been waiting for this moment. So let's scroll down here a little bit. Uh, I might go too far. Nope. Oh, Rock Howard. Okay, check this out. Oh my god, Geese Howard's boy. Blue balance type, which is awesome. His leadership increased Fatal Fury fighters attack by 55%. So if they got the Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury tag, he's going to increase their attack by 55%. That's absolutely amazing. You look, And this is the first time I've looked at his core effects and anything, guys. I just turned this game on. Uh, Ancient Martial Arts upon landing uh, Repukin. Repukin, sorry. Uh, skill guard included, so if they're guarding, it doesn't matter. 100% chance to reset cooldown of hard edge with a 15 second cooldown. He has a, H, a heal. Uh, when he's petrified and stunned, he gains hyper armor. Wow. And then gains super armor immunity for three seconds. Jesus. That's freaking crazy. That's awesome. Decreases damage received by 4% for five seconds when attacked. If HP is 49% or less, stacks up to 10. Holy crap. So that can go up to 40%. Increase the attack by 50% of defenses if HP is 50% or more. Wow, very good core effects. I know I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly, but let's go through here. Let's see here. So his first skill increases penetration by 600 for 7 seconds. Disables enemies guard for 4 seconds. That's really good, especially since he gets the extra penetration. Uh, the PvP exclusive uh, attack decreases attack by 70%. For three seconds when successful hitting a target. Wow, so you have to hit the target. And they can guard to protect themselves from this, but still. Hitting a target with super armor or hyper armor. Wow, so you're weakening a character that has super armor and hyper armor. And he gains super armor for three seconds when using a skill. And he has a 100% chance to ignore the guard. So if they're guarding, he'll break their guard. He'll interrupt the skill. That's insane. Increase attack by 27% for seven seconds. Wow, 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 wow. Let's check his... Let's check his skills out rock's a pretty awesome character he gets used in jp all the time and i love his music oh that's dope nice range attack right there very nice man i love his music though it is dope oh there's that super armor skill very fast skill just a small hesitation at the beginning but look at this thing man that's pretty quick and then again a fast skill Fast animations, knocking characters up in the air, is always good for combos, for the most part. Especially when they have range attacks. 
That's pretty cool. Raging Storm. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm not going to go through everything today. There's just so much, so much to talk about. It's crazy. Oh, I love that skill. I love that skill. That's awesome. You can bet I'm going to be going for this guy, for sure. I love Rock Howard. Big fan of Geese Howard. Big fan of Rock Howard, man. Hell yeah. And it was his birthday on June 24, just to let you all know, which is pretty cool. Dope character, dope character, dope character. Freaking loving it. Oh, man. Okay, so let's scroll down here again. Let's see. There's Rock. Uh, Edelhide. Okay, so now we got Rugal's son. Pretty cool. Geese Howard's son and Rugal's son show up in the same day in Global. So he's a green attack. He's got the increased green element fighters attack by 35%, defense by 15%. So good leadership for all green fighters. And this guy's got some pretty awesome core effects. He's got the increased damage on 18% of a critical hit. Tekken set's going to be awesome on him just for that alone. Uh, plus he gained the PG gain. Tekken set's good on fight anybody. Uh, then you have the uh, inherent ability decrease the target's HP recovery and power charge rate by 80%. 80%. For five seconds upon landing an active skill as a critical hit. So crit hits are very important for Edelhide. PvP, so the Mad Tea Party set, the Tekken set are going to be amazing on this guy. Uh, PvP exclusive, 70% chance to remove buffs, which means if characters have super armor, hyper armor, he can he has a 70% chance to remove their hyper armor and super armor, which is pretty insane from the target's active skills upon landing active skills. Uh, I have Edelhide and JP, and I can tell you he's pretty freaking amazing. Wonderful character, a bit squishy, but if he does disable their hyper armor, super armor, you can go into your skills, go into your combos, and he'll do amazing work. He also has a 3 PG card, just a boot. Uh, inflicts damage equal to 681 attack to enemy, increased attack by 28%. He becomes immune, which is wonderful. He deals shock damage, which is wonderful. Uh, gains super armor for three seconds, so he has immunity and super armor on his skills that is absolutely wonderful that he has that and then he's got a nice two and a half second stun and something about his striker skill that's amazing and this is something that's beneficial to me having him on my jb account is his uh striker skill stun is like halloween yashiro's the area of effect is insane no matter where you put him when he comes in a striker he will stun the opponents it's pretty awesome First skill, wonderful range attack, and this can reflect projectiles coming at him. So if someone does a projectile, they shoot an attack at him, he can actually reflect it with this attack, which is absolutely amazing if you time it right. The second skill, look at that, knocks him up in the air, and oh, wonderful. The third skill, knocks him up in the air. When you're playing Edelhide, you definitely want to you know, use one skill, use your, use your basic attacks and use your normal attacks, then use another skill, then use your normal attack, then use your normal skill, then use your... Uh, active skills you just kind of go back and forth between the normies and the active skills to really optimize him boom look at that oh my god so beautiful i love it love it love it man so awesome so awesome boom boom ba boom 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 and then this skill here and this is his 5 pg car which i actually kind of sucks i wish it was his 3 pg but that's his 5 PG. The other one was his 3 PG. Pretty amazing stuff, but we're not finished. We're not finished. We got one more character we need to talk about real quick. Where are you at, sweetheart? Where are you at? Silent Knight Elizabeth. Silent Knight Elizabeth. Freaking tank of a character. Uh, she's a green balance type. So we got two greens that showed up today. Uh, her leadership increased balance type fighters attack by 30% and crit rate by 9%. Take a look at her core effects. 12% uh, attack damage increase against defensive type opponents. So that's that's actually really good against defensive characters. You got the power charge rate. Uh, blank style martial arts. Uh, recovers max HP by 2.4% every 3 seconds. And decreased damage received by 30% if HP is 50% or more. She's an absolute tank with the decreased damage received and having the heal for the survivability. And then you got the light fist technique. Increase attack by 5% for 5 seconds for each attack. Stacks up to 5, which means it stacks up to 25%. And then she's got the PvP exclusive. Decreases damage received by 70% upon receiving an ultimate move. So when they do ultimate moves to her, she decreases damage received by 70% when HP is 49% or less. So it's 50% and above, she doesn't get this. 
pretty insane. Her skills, she gains hyper armor, which is super armor and damage immunity. She deals chill damage, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, damage over time, dot effects are wonderful in this game. She has a 35% chance to freeze an enemy for two seconds when successful skilled guard included in. So even if they're guarding, she still has a chance to even freeze them, which is wonderful. And then you see the PvP exclusive. This girl's built for PvP. Uh, decreased enemies movement speed by 30% which is very powerful in King of Fighters because it's a fighting game when you slow in movement speed down you're going to be able to get in there and beat them up because it's going to seem like your attack speed is faster even though it's not they're just slower so it's going to be easier to interrupt their skills an enemy cannot roll for four seconds which is absolutely wonderful when, it's just, when a successful skill guard included ends then she reflects, this is crazy, she reflects 20% of damage taken for 5 seconds and increases attack by 27%. Reflect on an active skill. Say, what? That is crazy. And then her stun, or I'm sorry, her striker skill decreases cooldown of active team members' active skills by 1 second. Uh, cooldown of ultimate moves by 2 seconds. That's actually, could be pretty good, actually. Okay, so let's look at her first skill. Very nice, I think that's a nice long range attack. That's got that super armor there, or hyper armor, I'm sorry. And then her second skill, nice, nice, nice. Third skill, boom, cool, cool, cool. Now she's a beast of a character now, let me tell you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then her finisher. Look at this thing, and this thing is vicious. If that thing hits you, oh my god. The damage is insane. Oh, girl is sweet. All three of these characters are sweet. All three of them are really freaking good. Uh, definitely up there in SS to triple S tier. They're amazing characters. I freaking love them. So happy they're in the game. So happy these cards are in the game. Uh, it's just, it's awesome, man. They've done so much in this update. I guarantee I'm not covering anything. Uh, every, I'm not covering everything. So let me look at something here. Uh... Let's see, chance of, no, 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 no. Okay, so we got we got new 3PG cars. This is crazy. Cosme now has a 3PG car. That's awesome. Oh, yes! I didn't even know that. And then we got Burning Shingo. Shingo's got a 3PG card now. I mean, oh, my God. This was already here. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, I'm loving it. What's this one? What? Now Mai has a 3PG card too? Oh my lord, I love that artwork. Look at how she looks. Damn, girl, you looking good. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's Keo's card. Buster Wolf, that's Terry's card. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So awesome. I guarantee you I'm missing something. Guarantee it. Oh man, this is so good. So good. So let's go let's go ahead and summon a free summon here. Let's do this. We're just gonna go ahead and skip it. Okay. Okay, we'll go here. We do our free summon here. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and do these summons because I'm pretty close to the end here to get that free fighter. Now, I need to change a couple little things. My green fighter. So, I'm going to take Ash out of there. And I'm going to put Adelheid in there because I really want Adelheid. I would love to have Elizabeth. I mean, still could get her, but I'm a little bit more of a, I'm a, more of a fan of Adelheid. And... We're going to take out Mukai, and we're going to put Rock Howard in there. There we go. Okay, so now we got Rock in there and Adelheid, so hopefully we can get lucky. I still need a memory for Pretty Zero. Rugal is always good, and Ignis is always good. So, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me a fest and give me one of them. Please, 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 please. I don't care which one. Rock Howard, Adelheid. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guarantee we'll be doing more summon videos. Oh, I just remember something I need to talk about. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, skip that. Yep, 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 yep. We'll do it again. This video has already been super long, so... Hmm. Come on, come on. Show me some red. Show me some red.
Show me some red. There's some deals in the shop. I think I'll talk about them in tomorrow's video because, like I said, this video has already been long enough. Man, I might go further because I want to get a character here, damn it. I want a fess. Come on, show me oh, show me some red. Okay, 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 okay. Please, 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 please. Be one of them. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Well, it's good, but it's not what I wanted. It's good, it's good, that's good. I mean, I got a memory for her. Okay, great. She's a wonderful character, but not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, okay, okay. Screw it, guys. Screw it. We're going again. We're going again. And I still want to get those Ryugo cards. I mean, oh my god, man. Oh my god. I think insanity in the future for sure. This update is freaking... Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Let me know how you're all feeling about it, man. I am. I think this is great. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, show me some red. Show me some red. Come on. Don't make me use all my rubies. Please, 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 please. Don't make me... Okay, we got a fess. Please, please, please. Come on, 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 please, please. No! Wait, yes, 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 ah! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At first, <laughs> oh, my God. At first, at first, I heard the voice, and I thought it's a girl, but then when I seen Rose, I thought, oh, yeah, oh, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Adelheid, I got Adelheid, I got Adelheid. Now, I need to get his 3 PG card, oh! Uh, later, my friend. Later. Oh my God! I got eight alive. I got eight alive. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's so awesome, so awesome. But they put some new deals in here, which is pretty interesting. We'll have to talk about those in another video. But they even throw in some new imprint stones that are specific for certain characters, which is quite interesting. That they did that. That is quite interesting. I can't click on this for some reason. Well, let's let me see what their stats are. But this is interesting stuff here. I'm actually very curious about it. Don't really like that price tag. But you can unlock a collab character by doing this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. And there's a bunch of other stuff in here. But man, I am just so happy right now that I have Adelheid. Where are you at, big man? Where are you at, big man? There you are. <laughs> I got Adelheid. I got Adelheid. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy, man. Such freaking crazy luck. So let me know how you're all feeling about this update. Uh, and let me know in the comments, you know, if I missed something, because I'm sure I did. There is a lot to this update. I, did, I definitely didn't get to talk about everything, but so far so good i'm super happy with it it's a, a wonderful wonderful update so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one